क्वेश्चन नंबर 106 सोल्यूट पोटेंशियल ऑफ अ सॉल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव सेकंड इंक्रीजेस विद इंक्रीज इन अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्यूट्स थर्ड इज न्यूमेरिकली इक्वल टू ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर फोर्थ इज जीरो फॉर अ सॉल्यूशन एट एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर सो व्हाट इज सॉल्यूट पोटेंशियल ऑफ अ सॉल्यूशन सॉल्यूट पोटेंशियल इज ऑलवेज नेगेटिव सो दिस ऑप्शन इज रूल्ड आउट increases with increase in amount of solutes no you must have read the sentence in the ncrt which says that more the solute you put in a solution more lower will be the solute potential so if you increase the amount of solute lesser will be the solute potential so it will decrease hence this option is also ruled out fourth one is zero for a solution at atmospheric pressure solute potential is always a negative it is not zero so this option is also ruled out is numerically equal to osmotic pressure yes the solute potential is numerically equal to osmotic pressure but have opposite signs so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question Question number 107 the positive pressure which is responsible for pushing up water to small heights is first option known as transpiration pull second responsible for guttation in herbaceous plants third highest during daytime fourth also the reason behind loss of most absorbed water through stomata of leaves so the positive pressure which is responsible for pushing up water to a small height only it's the root pressure root pressure is the positive pressure so this root pressure is known as transpiration pull no it is highest during the day time no the transpiration pull is highest during the day time and root pressure is highest during the night also this root pressure is also the reason behind the loss of most absorbed water through stomata of leaves no it is the transpiration pull which is responsible for the water loss through the stomata of leaves not the root pressure second option it is responsible for the guttation in herbaceous plants yes the root pressure is responsible for the guttation means the removal of water through the tips of the leaves in herbaceous plants so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's see the next question question number 108 rod shaped bacteria rhizobium cannot be present in the root nodules of first option alpha alpha second alnus third sweet clover fourth lentils the rhizobium it is a symbiotic nitrogen fixer and rhizobium is seen in the leguminous plants alpha alpha sweet clover and lentils so these plants can be associated with the rhizobium but alnus does not show association with rhizobium as alnus shows association with Frankia, the another symbiotic nitrogen fixer. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number 109. Match the following columns and select the correct option. Column 1 says A. Potassium, B. Manganese, C. Calcium, D. Molybdenum. Column 2, component of nitrogenase, activation of alpha amylase, splitting of water and maintains turgidity of cells. So in the column 1 you are given with the essential elements and in the column 2 their functions are given. You have to match the column 1 to the column 2 and then choose the correct option. So see one by one. A is potassium. It maintains the turgidity of cells. So A matches with the fourth. Hence option number 4 and 3 are ruled out as in the only two options that is first and the second A matches with the fourth. Now B which is manganese involves in the splitting of water during the photosynthesis. So B matches with the third. Hence option number 2 is also ruled out. C calcium is activates the alpha amylase and molybdenum is a component of nitrogenase. So the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to the non-cyclic photophosphorylation? First option, it takes place under optimum light. Second, it is associated with evolution of oxygen. Third, both ATP and NADPH are the products of this process. Fourth, it takes place only in stromal lamellae of chloroplast. What is non-cyclic photophosphorylation? 
means the ATP synthesis and presence of light in non cyclic manner it is called the Z scheme it takes place under optimum light yes it is true it is associated with the evolution of oxygen yes because it involves PS2 and PS1 both and PS2 is associated with the evolution of oxygen third both ADP and NADPH are the products of this process yes it is also true the fourth one it takes place only in the stroma lamellae of chloroplast no it occurs on the thylakoid membrane or the grana of the chloroplast so this is incorrect so the correct option for the given question is option number four let's move to the next question